Guillermo in Moreno Valley, California. Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and with the help of my GoPro camera I'm going to show you how I cut transition bifocal lenses for your Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer color 901L which is the classic shiny black and the 55 eye size. So let me take it out. This is your Ray-Ban case, your Ray-Ban frame, your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and some junk mail because you just don't get enough in your mailbox. So they figured, why not put it inside your eyeglass case? So this is your frame. It comes with a little plastic sleeve on the temple to prevent the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to take this off, and of course you're going to receive all the manufacturer's original packaging. But this is your frame. It's the same one I'm wearing. Except I've got color 6044, which is the new shiny metallic silver they just came out with. This is the classic shiny black. I'm going to pop out your original heavy glass lenses. And I'm going to install lightweight unbreakable lenses to go into your frame. But I'm going to take your frame, turn it upside down, and put it... Where's my stylus? Where's my stylus? Come on, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? Look, I'm already getting lost. There it is. Whew, my trusty stylus. Without this, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. And I couldn't do that. <laughs> but everyone wants to know what shape to cut. This stylus is going to come up and it's going to trace the shape of the right lens before moving over and tracing the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where I put the dot in it like that. Where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame. You will receive free clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. If you have flex dollars or vision insurance that you're not using, my receipt has my federal ID tax number on there. So you can be reimbursed from your insurance company or flex dollars if you just want to wear the coolest pair of geek sheet glasses that there is. Of course, you need a prescription in here. So, speaking of which, it actually pops up. The near distance, your PD is 32.5 in both eyes. And I'm actually going to go four below. I'm going to, oops, hey, back up to 32.5. Let me set your bifocal height there. We're going to go 16. And this is a bifocal, so I'm going to put that, the graph there. I'm going to take your right lens. Let me just double check. Yep, that is the inset. That is your right lens. And I'm going to put the corners of your bifocal right here in between those lines and sitting flush on that line. Now this is a block. I like to call it Jenny from the block. Some little girl stole my name and made it big with that. But this is what attaches to your lens while it's cutting. So I need a double-sided adhesive sticker to apply to the lens to make sure that it will stick on there. I'm going to stick it on the first one. Let's do it on the second one. Now this little silver button on, on the back is a magnet. And I'll show you what that's used for in a moment. But that magnet is going to hold it in place there in the arm. I hit this button, the arm comes down and places the block onto the lens. I'm going to do the same thing now for the left lens. It's going to pop up here in a moment. There we go with the pupillary distance and the height of the bifocal where that belongs. It just copies and mirrors the left lens. I'm just going to get everything lined up perfectly. Pull the paper off and hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto your lens that is your left lens so i'm going to place it inside the edger now the actual cutting wheel is over here on the far right it's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material this wheel in the center with that channel that little valley that's what's going to put the v-shaped bevel onto your lens so it stays inside the frame let's go ahead and put the lens into the chuck let's wake the machine up and i know from experience I may have to do it some more. I'm going to edge this down about a quarter of a millimeter to make sure it easily pops into the frame. And I do not want to polish the edges. So, let's go ahead and hit start. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The very dirty door closes with, look, spider webs on there. No, that's just residue from the cutting cycle. But that caliper is going to go around and it's going to trace the shape of the right lens, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly where to place the bevel so it fits best inside the frame. The other thing I need to do is empty the trap from the last one I cut. There we go. Now we can begin cutting. Now, Guillermo married his sweetheart right out of high school. Maria has been married 30 years. Can you believe that? She has been married to him for 30 years. That woman is a saint. 
And he's not a bad guy himself. He actually owns Endless Creation Screen Printing there in Marino Valley, which is just outside Riverside, California, which I actually happen to have family. The next time I'm out there for a family reunion, I'll have to stop by there and get some t-shirts printed up. If anyone else needs his services, his email address is ectshirts at att.net. And again, the ectshirts at att.net, ec standing for Endless Creations great screen printer out there just outside Riverside should anyone need his services so the lens has already been cutting down on the cutting wheel it's actually getting a safety bevel which is just going to smooth out the edges where they're left over from the cutting cycle it does the convex front surface of the lens first and now it's doing the concave back surface of the lens to make everything nice and smooth before I attempt to mount it into the frame. Just a moment the door will open. Let me hit the button to open up the chuck. Take this lens out. Just dry it off so it's not slippery and let's go ahead and get it mounted into the frame. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner then using my thumbs I press down at the nose it snaps in easily. Let's do the same thing now for the left lens. Put it into the chuck. Hit start. Oops oh it's smarter than me I gotta flip this over to L. Now hit start. I'm glad this machine is smarter than me. That's why it costs forty thousand dollars. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out and get one. Put it on your kitchen counter. As it traces again, you will see the shape of the left lens. But yeah, put this on your kitchen counter or next to your screen printing equipment and you won't need me to cut your lenses anymore. And I will turn on the flashlight so you can see as it will drop down onto the cutting wheel. Now your lenses are made out of polycarbonate. Polycarb is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. It is virtually unbreakable. Your lenses are bulletproof up to 22 caliber and have both UVA and UVB protection built into them. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours, this is permanent. And then you'll never have to reapply the UV protection both UVA and UVB protection that is built into your lenses. So water has kicked in, which it does for the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle to wash away any optical debris, which washed it right onto the door. Sorry about that. I should have cleaned up if I knew I was going to have company over. You know how it goes. You're so busy working, you forget to clean. Just like the floor. My wife always says, why don't you clean the floor up? The reason why I do that is that if anyone comes over, it looks like I've been working. <laughs> I can fool people that way. If you never clean up, people think you've been working hard all day long. So the last of the safety bevel is being applied to your lens. And in just a moment, it will stop. This door will open. Open sesame, ooh. And now, oh, gotta hit the button, gotta hit the button. Don't forget about the button. Open that up, dry the lens off so it's not slippery. Let's go ahead and get this mounted into the frame. There we go. Let's go ahead and take these blocks off since they are no longer needed. Pull these blocks off as well, the stickers. Dry everything off. And I'm gonna go over to my trusty Marco 101 lensometer, which is just as dusty as the rest of this lab. Put it in. I'm going to re-verify the power. I'm getting plus 50. Can you see that? That's exactly halfway between 0 and 1. I want to test the bifocal strength. I'm going to go up, pull it towards me, and I get a total power of 150, which is exactly halfway between 1 and 2. Let's do the same thing for the left eye. Yep, that looks clear. Let's drop this down. Read the power in the top and again we're getting plus 50 which is two steps of magnification for your distance the bifocal makes it bifocal makes an additional 
one diopter of power which gives you a combined power of 150 in your reading now hang on hang on got to clean something off your frame from when I took the lenses out let's do the same thing for the other side clean all the debris and adhesive material that originally came inside your frame there we go pop these bad boys back in and of course Guillermo should you ever buy another color a frame in the 55 eye size you can pop these lenses out and they will go right in and so years from now should you ever need a stronger lens I can send them right to your home and you can pop them in don't worry about the unbreakable lenses I do want to measure the pupillary distance which is 65 which I measure from the corner of one bifocal to the corner of the other and we're getting 65 millimeters so that is made perfectly I want to check the bifocal height we're at 16 there now when you get these in the mail there's a small chance that these could be too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is higher than the other that's because 80 percent of people have one ear that's higher than the other and because of that 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them but i'm going to get them in standard alignment first also known as a three point stance the three points are one two and the bottom of the frame being three i set it on the counter and press down there is no wobble when i say wobble I'm part of that 80%. I have one ear that's higher than the other. And I mind wobble when I place them on the counter. But I flip them over, but they sit level on me. I press down on yours, no wobble. I make sure that each temple overlaps perfectly, and they do. Now, Guillermo, this is what your lenses look like clear. And of course, as you, if I move them over the lenses, you can see how they magnify the print behind them. But this is what they look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and activate the transitions part of the lenses. I'm going to expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for transition lenses to darken. It takes a little bit longer when you come back inside, about 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. Now, Guillermo, this is important. Pay attention. All transition lenses get dark on day one. Give them two weeks of exposure to the sunny weather, sunny weather, to the sun, and they will keep darkening every day for the first two weeks until they reach their final setting. After that, they will work for years with maximum performance. The only time they will not work is if you're behind the windshield of a traditional car. That's because your windshield absorbs all the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your upholstery to rot or your dashboard to crack. But as long as you're exposed to the sun, they will darken. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, yeah, they'll darken then too. Now, they're also temperature sensitive meaning they'll get darker when it's 85 and below than when it is once it gets up to triple digits. I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, your glasses are miserable, everyone's miserable when it's 100 degrees. So this is the first time they have been activated. Don't worry, they're going to continue to darken every day for the first two weeks. Come on, Guillermo, we covered that. But if anyone has any questions about what I can or can't do, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. Of course, email me if you need to contact Guillermo with Endless Creation Screen Printing. Of course, you can always contact him yourself. His email address, I've got it memorized now, ectshirts at att.net. And Guillermo, I hope you enjoyed watching as I plugged your business and as I made your bifocal transitions for your Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer, color 901, the classic shiny black and the 55 eye size. And everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.